What's good, y'all? It's your boy Little Roy, aka Little Roy TV, and we back with another video. I was gonna give you guys this video yesterday, but yeah, I didn't because I already dropped the late reaction review video for those dunks. So you see the title. We're gonna go over those. Uh, go over this pair. I said those like it's a lot, but it's just literally one. You see the title, so you see what we about to go over. I don't know if the video. I feel like I'm too close, but either way, you see the title, so you see what we're about to go over. I'm going to just show you guys this real quick. Hear your opinions in the comments. I respond to all my comments, so comment whatever you want to say about the shoe, or it has it does, doesn't have to be nothing about the shoe. Just comment whatever you want. I'm going to respond. And also, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 400 plus subs, so let's get into that. Let's get into the video. Uh, ladies, if you're watching, <clears throat> and by any chance you think your boy is cute, uh instagram is down below in the description so go hit me up and um everyone else go check out the main channel i did drop my new song so go check that out on the main channel uh and yeah let's get right into it because i don't want to take too much time i'm literally cooking so i'm trying to film this in between of me cooking so let's get right into it and no further ado Whew. all right so off rip since you know what shoe it is it comes with this plastic i was not gonna be fake and put it back on no first of all i'm annoyed that shoes come with that so i'm not even trying to like touch that at all to put it back on but it's the air jordan one craft that's what they officially call it right or they call it black archeo brown whatever it is jordan one this is a size 10 and a half i got this from exclusive access from finish line so yeah if you know you know if you don't don't ask me now you can comment and i could tell you but either way it's that fancy jordan one box they do for these collabs or whatever it's not collab but whatever type of different jordan one they drop just like they did for the i forgot what sneaker they also did it for but um yeah so it's like a burgundy green red white all that stuff right there nothing on the sides really just different colors but that's really it so let's get into the shoe i'm only taking out one got that different color because i'm not taking the paper off the other shoe oh shoot that paper doesn't even come with this shoe my bad <laughs> i was literally talking about a different shoe that paper goes for the other review i'm gonna do okay so i'm gonna just do these okay so yeah you're right I, i'm bugging anyway different type of like, charcoal paper they give I'm all over the place. I really thought that paper was for these, but I forgot. It's for the other shoe. I'm going to do a review for you guys for tomorrow. But it comes with extra laces. For the first time, I've never seen a shoe come with a different or the same exact color black laces. It already has black. If you can see, I know it's a little dark in here, but black laces, and it comes with more black laces. And then it comes with a spare white. Jordan 1, back at it again. One thing I didn't realize about this shoe that I think is the best part is this little, little, I can't even tell the camera. But this little slick part right here, right there, that goes down too. I like that little gray. The burgundy is cool. The little brown, giving me SN Mocha vibes because you know, the last time we see brown on the shoe, that's how it looked. The handcraft, that's what they call it, or whatever. Got different names, but yeah, the craft Jordan One highs right here in the flesh. Let's get a quick little thumbnail for you guys. Let's go. Boom. Come that's whoa. If the thumbnail comes out crazy, then uh whatever. So I'm gonna put this one a little down because I ain't trying to hold this one with the laces. There's no point of that. Uh, I'll just put it over here. But uh let me know what you guys think about these. It got like a orange or peach colorway right there on the logo. Uh people I did see some YouTuber react to this and say long term they might be like biohacks and at some point they'll go up based off because they're better colorway than the biohacks. Uh, I guess, yeah, you're right. You could match these better or more with other shoes. You got, like, the brown, the green, right? It's, like, a darker color. So, you could wear this with mostly anything, depending on your style. So, yeah, I do agree that long-term... Nah, I'm not agreeing long-term. I'm bugging. I'm about to say long-term, I don't know if they'll go up like the Biohacks. Biohacks is one-time, a generation type of sneaker. That's why Biohacks end up bricking, but then they went back up. Because people actually realize they like them. And they had, ugly, like, it was uglier colorways. But based off the normal people, whatever, they might like this long term. Because it's more simpler, easier colorways. You feel me? 
But who knows? Long term, they might not go up. They could go up. Oh, wow. The inside even has like the silver. Now, this shoe details is crazy. Look, you can't even see that. But the inside has its own lining in that. That's crazy. This shoe is very good detail wise. The leather is fine. I mean, it feels actually numb lying. The leather on the toe bottom feels crazy. Trash. I'm not gonna lie, it's just terrible trash leather right here. It feels so hard. No pun intended, but uh, the side leather, I can't lie, this shit feels cheap. I just meant like the actual material for the designs feel good, like suede. The suede feels good. But the leather is trash. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Do you think they're actually ugly? Are they worse than the biohacks? Or are they actually, are they lo like, low-key, are they better? Because the better colors in here. Brown, green, gray, black. It's more simple to match with this colorway, I feel. But uh, I feel like the, the shoelaces are lazy. I still don't get this double they have inside. Hold on, let me try to stick it out. So it comes with, like, this orange-black. I have no clue. If it's together or not together, I have no clue. I don't know. You can look up other YouTubers how they wear it or whatever or watch. I'm not going in depth because that's too much work and I don't even get that. But I guess that little orange matches the little tongue right here. So that's one thing I could see. Inside, how does it look? I'm trying to see how. Right, let's just take this out. Let's see how the inside of the shoe actually looks. So it comes with this soft Velcro type of like material for the. The inside, I don't know if you can really tell, but it feels like it's, it's like a Velcro. It's like a like a, a Velcro carpet. It's not even a, I'm not going to pull it out because hell no, nah, but it's like a Velcro inside shoe thing. It literally feels like a carpet. You can't really tell. Uh, I don't have my phone to put the light right now, but yeah, if you put a light there or whatever, it's not even your regular inside material. It's literally like a carpet, like a Velcro hard carpet material but yeah this shoe got so much different details that i didn't expect but i guess they do anything with this collab uh resale is not doing pretty good uh but if you get it for personal then this is your chance to go buy it hopefully not even hopefully they should be sitting at some i think they're gonna be sitting at some stores so just be patient <clears throat> they will be sitting at some stores you know some stores i don't know if they got late shipment or whatever the case is um People that probably didn't pick these up on the flex because I don't even know if they had it on flex. I don't think so. I'm I'm like I'm so out of touch with this shoe specifically. I'm like I'm focused on the bigger hypes because I need to get pairs for shoes. But like these are like not that hyped up. So at some point they'll be in the stores. You know, other Jordan ones were sitting in stores for a long time. The burgundy ones, a whole bunch of other shoes. So best believe this will be sitting in store. So don't even cop for resale. Um, maybe I'm biting my ass in this, like, biting my own ass in the foot because whatever. This 10 and a half still didn't sell, but I'm about to sell it right now. I don't care how much money I just bought it for. I'm literally going to sell it tonight or whatever. I just want to get rid of the shoe because I don't want to hold this. Uh, hopefully I'll make some money, whatever the case is. But, um, yeah, this shoe to me is not good for a personal. I don't like, I don't like it. I don't care about it. But, uh, besides that, that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anything else you want to know about the shoe, just leave a comment. I'll respond to all of that. Make sure you guys also subscribe. We are on our way to 400 plus subs. Make sure you check out the main channel as well as the Instagram. Those two links will be down below in the description. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Your boy Little Roy's out. Catch you on the flip side.